This is another Poet at War General Report. And here's your general, Joshua David Ling. General's Report. Stardate, or whatever. November 3rd, year of our Lord, 2021. Yeah, so yesterday, the Atlanta Braves won the World Championship. They won the World Series against the Houston Astros. What does this have to do with poets and war? And I'm telling you all now, everything. Part of the biggest thing that makes poets such a potent unit in the war on culture is the fact that God, by the very design of this world, uses the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. And what is a jester? What is a fool? What is a writer? What is someone who just imagines things? These silly little dreamers, right? But what does that have to do with baseball players? Well, let's be real here. What's a baseball player going to do in the world of politics? I'll tell you what a baseball player is going to do in the world of politics. I'll tell you what a baseball team is going to do in the world of politics. Regardless of the individual positions of players on all the crazy nonsense that's going on in this world today, the facts are that the Atlanta Braves were going to host the 2021 All-Star Game. Now, the All-Star Game, for those who don't know is when the best players voted on by the fans from around the league mid-season get together and have one giant matchup. It's a huge financial boost to the people in the city which hosts it, and Atlanta was chosen to host it. However, crazy, vindictive, woke people decided that they... (laughs) <laughs> we're going to be above that. They were going to be above the voting laws of such a racist place as Atlanta. Oh, the horrible history, and now they're suppressing votes. <laughs> if you know anything, which I know you do, because intelligent people listen to this podcast, there was no voting suppression, and there was even more of what they called voter suppression in the place that they ended up, Colorado. Of course, it's not actually voter suppression there either. It's needing identification to vote. Simple. So here's the thing. They had the all-star game taken from them. And not only did the Braves win the World Series yesterday, for the first time in 26 years and only the second time as an Atlanta franchise, they did it against another Southern competitor, the Houston Astros. I'm telling you guys, regardless of what the individual players think, what was going on, the fact is, many, 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 many foolish people were shamed by yesterday's events. Baseball is an inherently narrative sport, and I'm going to go deeper into that on another general support another time, but there is this suspense between pitches. There is this rising tension as the game goes on and an amazing finale. There's highs and lows and crazy feats of strength and agility. And there's time to breathe in between those moments. A lot of people say it's a boring game. It's not a boring game. Even though I like some of the variations on it, like the Savannah Bananas banana ball, look it up if you haven't. Baseball is amazing. It is truly America's pastime for a reason. And if you have never seen a game or just have never understood the rules enough or really ever got into it, just try. I promise you'll enjoy it. Find a good game. Find a game that you know is good that someone uploaded to YouTube because the whole game was awesome. Learn the rules. Go from there. But my point in all of this is telling you something. Even for myself personally, this was an incredible feat. Because my father raised me on the Atlanta Braves in the 1990s. And it was a family thing. And it's a family thing now. My father has passed away. 
He passed away last year. He had fought cancer twice, one, and then a mysterious illness took him. It was not COVID. It was not anything of that nature. We're, the doctors are still unsure of what it was. But the truth is that God has always used the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. And even something as simple as a baseball team winning the big game can have a huge inspirational effect on a society. And even today, I'm seeing people who would cower before the woke elites laugh. Because guess what? You took away our all-star game, and we won the World Series. It's the foolish things of this world. Don't discount them. And keep writing them. This is your general. On today's general report, check it out. Uh, check out the whole podcast, you know, at joshuadavidling.com. And we'll talk to you next time.